Hi Trailblazers, Mrs. Keltner here with another book reading. Special book from the Great Smoky Mountains, Salamander Ball by Lisa Horstman. On top of the car roof, the camp gear was stacked and into the car with their suitcases packed went both Sarah's parents, with Sarah there too. They had places to go, they had fun things to do. Sarah wriggled and swiggled inside the big car and asked, are we there yet? because it seemed far. They were bound for the Smokies, that wonderful spot where hikes would be hiked and fish would be caught. Picking up litter had been quite a chore. Hiking was tough, though she liked to explore. But she knew of one kid who'd cheated and lied. He bragged about hiking. He'd never even tried. And that wasn't all, there was more, Sarah knew. He's not just a liar, but a big bully too. He'd yanked off the tail of a little red newt before it escaped and hid under a root. Then came the night Sarah just couldn't sleep. Dreams wouldn't come, so she tried counting sheep till she heard a strange noise and peeked from her tent and sneaked through the darkness with no one's consent. Poking through trees, she came to a hollow. She saw teeny footprints and started to follow. Crunch, she looked down. A small piece of paper, there in the dark, it had almost escaped her. It seemed to be some kind of fine invitation of which Sarah studied with great fascination. She, she, excuse me, she held it up close to the eyes in her head. She started to read it. Here's what it said. Salamanders, big, to salamanders small, come one, come all, to the salamander ball. We'll have a big party, yes, this much is true, with feasting and dancing and playing games too. Then with what she saw she couldn't resist, she just had to follow, for there in the mist, salamanders busily heeded the call to where she now knew the salamander ball. They all reached a clearing on top of a mountain and someone yelled loudly, a ball's to be startin'. A small band of crickets then started to play as the guests wandered in a fancy pathway. First, a hellbender marched in with great zest with plans to win big in the ugly contest. Next came a pygmy, the smallest of small. He took a high place. It made him look tall. The zigzag salamanders all zigzagged in time to the beat of a drummer while standing in line. Behind them, the red cheeks swayed to the band, admiring their blushes to see whose was grand. The mud salamander bathed just for the occasion and found a dance partner without much persuasion. On went the dancing, they all kept time well, they rumbled and cha cha and polka pell-mell. They moved up the mountain to pack after pack, and now there were so many that Sarah lost track. So many colors and so many sizes, so many talents, all hoping for prizes. Laughing and watching from her hiding spot, Sarah saw weird things until she got caught. Two newts called out, it's a spy. Sarah stopped laughing and tried not to cry. Everyone froze. This was not a good thing. The salamander ball was a top secret thing. They circled around her and grumbled and glared. They all moved in closer and Sarah got scared. What to do now, yelled a voice above all. No human has ever been to our salamander ball. It's ruined for sure. Forget having more. The ball would be crowded with humans galore. Sarah was sorry that she'd spoiled their fun and just when their party had barely begun. But then someone called amid the uproar, let's make this girl our ambassador. What's that they all muttered, craning their heads as they stepped Simon blushed red. He was a true leader, somewhat of a brain. They all stopped to listen. He began to explain. Ambassadors help us to see wrong from right they help keep the peace instead of a fight. She'd be the one to teach the human race to respect salamanders and our great smoky mountain place. They all stared at Sarah and what could she do? Ambassador she'd be and a diplomat too. 
So now it was time for some grand lecturing on two golden rules of salamandering. They gave her a ribbon that made her proud hearted. The music began and the party restarted. A race for the fastest began with a shout and a prize for the best spots was given out. Near one clump of trees, a scary movie was shown of a salamander chased by a boy just half grown. That kid was just curious and needed to know if a tail gets yanked off, will another one grow? Just think of this story had happened to you. Was it simply a dream or was it all true? Well, Sarah grew up and now she's a ranger. She protects salamanders from possible danger. So maybe she dreamed it, but then maybe not. What matters the most is what she was taught. And maybe, just maybe, if you make a request, she'll tell you about the Salamander Fest. And if Sarah likes you, she'll show you the badge awarded to her by Park Ranger Madge. But look very closely, there's a little bit more. A ribbon attached reads, Ambassador. So if you visit the Smoky Mountains, look for these types of salamanders. There's the pygmy salamander, the mountain dusky salamander, long tail salamander, red spotted newt, a zigzag salamander, that one looks pretty long, three lined salamander, look at all those. So if you get to the Smoky Mountains up in North Carolina, this would be a great book to have with you so you can identify all the salamanders. And this, um, on the back it says, Welcome to Smoky Mountains National Park, Salamander, capital of the world. Inside this book, you'll follow Sarah on a camping trip to the Smokies and share her delight as she becomes the first human ever to witness a salamander ball. There are over 27 species of salamanders that live in the park, including the red-cheeked, which lives nowhere else on Earth. It's this wondrous diversity of life that makes the Great Smoky Mountains so special, earning them protection as a national park. So I hope you enjoyed this book, and we'll see you soon, Trailblazers.